Hi everyone, welcome to a new vlog. It has been a while since I have last uploaded a video here and I really missed it. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching it. I wanted to film a little introduction for this one because unfortunately I lost a few of the footage for this vlog and I think that's because I have been filming a lot. I started filming this one in the middle of August so a few clips got lost, um, but basically this is the one where I met my wonderful friend Sarah from the channel Sarah the Dreamer, which was of course absolutely amazing. This was the first time that I met an online friend and it's just a feeling that's very hard to explain. It is incredible, I feel so grateful, but I will talk more about that as well as some bookish updates later in this vlog. For now, I hope you enjoy seeing some of our adventures on these beautiful places and I will speak to you very soon.
Oh my god. Ooh, look at us. How do you feel? I'm okay. <laughs> You're okay. So high. Yeah, it's pretty high, but it's alright. It is high. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get one? Oh, she's going for it. <laughs> you got this. Maybe you don't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Welcome again to the vlog. I haven't filmed 
pretty much at all ever since Sarah got here or at least I haven't spoken to the camera of course I have been filming some clips here and there I keep forgetting to film an actual update for the vlog so welcome again <laughs> as you could probably see already Sarah is here and it's so strange <laughs> it's wonderful and it feels surreal it's just such a weird feeling to explain because I never actually believed that making friendships online would meant that eventually I would get to meet someone <laughs> from my booktube community and that that's just a crazy feeling of course it's, it's something that I'm always hoping for it to happen I would love to meet all of my friends eventually but it seems like such a distant almost impossible thought to me that when it actually happened when I saw her for the first time at the airport it felt like almost an illusion, you know what I mean? Like, I finally was seeing her face, not on the screen. It was real, it was right in front of me, and I didn't even know how to react. I just hugged her because I was so happy. I got a little emotional as well when I got home that night because I was like reliving that moment and thinking, how is this possible? How does a place like the internet that can be, I don't know, such, such a toxic place, it can be so damaging, but at the same time, it can be so wonderful <laughs> and provide you with the loveliest friendships and people and right now i'm just meeting all these humans meeting all these beautiful people because of this community and i get to actually be with someone that i've been speaking to for almost four years now it is absolutely insane sarah and i have been speaking for that long and we finally can meet we finally can hug each other i get to see her days in a row and it doesn't feel real yet. <laughs> Today it is Saturday, she's gonna stay here until Thursday, so of course we're gonna make the most of that. We are planning to maybe host some reading springs together, um, eventually, if we can make that happen, and also film some collab videos as well. We do have some ideas that I'm very excited to film with her, um, it will be so weird once again, because she'll be here, right next to me, <laughs> and that makes me feel very happy, and mostly grateful that this is possible and that I get to make friends that are so far away from me and have this connection and now actually see them it's insane <laughs> so yes we have of course been spending a lot of time together and we have been visiting some different places in the city today we went to one of my favorite places actually it is called Obidus and it is this very quirky little town very much dedicated to books and food and drinks <laughs> It's a beautiful village that stays in the middle of all of these green fields. It has a big castle, which we also visited, of course. We went up there and saw the beautiful view and, and went to all of these cute stores because they do sell a lot of traditional Portuguese products that are so beautiful. They're all handmade and they feel so special. Um, so yes, we just walked around the streets. Today, unfortunately, I had to get back earlier. We couldn't have dinner together um, today because I had to take care of something else but right now I hope she's having the best time exploring the city as well and yes it just has been so much fun um, of course because that little town is mainly dedicated to books I did buy a few things that I'm about to show you the first one of them was actually Sarah that decided to give them to me because I looked at them and I thought I love this but I don't need them I really don't I mean I do but I don't <laughs> and if you know me you can probably guess what it is already. It's another mug. <laughs> it's a big round mug. Can you look at that? Look how it fits your hands. Like, can you imagine the amount of tea that I can fit in here? It's amazing. It's very unique because, again, it is handmade. So there are not two exact same mugs. You know what I mean? So it's, it's so pretty. And I looked at it and Sarah was like, let me grab that for you. I will give you as a gift. And I was like are you crazy? <laughs> no, you won't. And she insisted and she was very kind. And along with this mug, she also gifted me some tea <laughs> that I was also looking at. Of course, they had a big selection of teas. It was a huge wall filled with teas and I wanted to pick like 10, but I started looking at this one because it was a green tea with grapes, strawberries and champagne as well. So, I'm very excited to try this, obviously. Plus the packaging was very beautiful as well. It is the typical Portuguese tile and it's lovely. Um, and Sarah just got both of these for me because she's wonderful. And of course I was very happy. Um, so yes, now I have another mug to add to my collection because 
I always need more mugs, obviously. But like I told you, I do have a few books. I ended up buying three books because they were selling kind of unique editions that I really wanted, I really liked at the time. And the first one was actually a book that both me and Sarah did get, um, because it sounds extraordinary, of course, and it is The Vindications by Mary Wollstonecraft. This is basically a feminist essay, from what I can tell. Yes, it says the book deplored the educational restrictions and the mistaken notions of female excellence that degraded women and kept them in a state of slavish dependence. Indeed, independence, the grand blessing of life, was at the heart of of Wollstonecraft's philosophy, and it is a mark of the profound influence of her works that Virginia Woolf, writing almost a century and a half later, could state that her originality has become our commonplace. So that sounds amazing. I, of course, want to read this, so it was the first book that I got. And then I got two cute little books. So the first one was this very beautiful edition of A Room with the View by E.M. Forster. This is a book that I've already read and really liked, so I saw this copy. It had all of these plants, which I always love, and plus a woman playing the piano. So if you want a more me cover, it's very hard to accomplish that because it's nature and music in the same cover and that's exactly what I adore um, and I thought it was so pretty. I've actually been meaning to reread this book for a while now. I might save it for next year actually because it feels very much like a spring book to me, so I might do that next year. But. It's very cute, I really love this cover, it's so beautiful, um, and let me know if you've read this one as well, of course. And finally, I got a book by Isabel Allende, because, again, I've been meaning to try her works for ages, and I don't know exactly where to start. If you have any recommendations for me, I would really appreciate that. Um, but I bought this one, it was Eva Luna, and I bought this one because it is mentioned in Gilmore Girls, which is one of my favorite TV shows, and Rory, I think it is, says that this is her best novel. So, of course, I was very curious. I remembered that scene immediately and went and bought it. Plus, I thought it was so pretty as well. It's a very tiny, cute book um, that I really enjoyed. And all of these books came from independent bookstores as well, which I always love supporting. So, that's what I did and I'm very happy with my purchase because it has been a while since I went to a bookstore and bought new books. I mean, of course, recently I did go to a thrifted bookstore. I donated a few books and in exchange I did get some credit to buy some secondhand books but I feel like that's a different experience <laughs> for some reason in my head um so yes it had been a while since I've done this and I'm very happy with my purchases um let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought but right now I need to go I just wanted to give you this little update hopefully I will be able to give you more of them as our journey continues but if not I will speak to you very soon anyway tomorrow we are actually planning to go to the beach and spend the entire day there so I might talk to you about which books I am planning to bring with me tomorrow if I remember but I definitely need to pack I need to bring some towels and some snacks as well and of course my books so that will be very fun <laughs> Sarah went to film some footage of the sea, which is beautiful, but yeah, this is our situation currently. Our sun umbrella is more of a tent right now. <laughs> Since no one can see me now, I don't feel as much self-conscious, I guess. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I read a bit more of Book Lovers. It's getting better, I think. They finally had a nice conversation about their lives and their bonding a little bit, which is nice. So I'm hoping to make some more good progress on that book and hopefully finish it this week. I think I can do it. <laughs>
everyone <laughs> i was re-watching this footage while editing the vlog and it made me feel emotional all over again i i still cannot believe that this actually happened again just the world of internet can be so crazy and it can be so toxic so competitive and so damaging while at the same time it can be a way for you to meet amazing people whether that's online or in person which still feels impossible to me i am so grateful that i got to meet sarah i i it was so wonderful and i'm so grateful for having her in my life and sarah if you're watching this thank you so much for being who you are for being my friend for these amazing days that we spent together i cannot wait for the next time <laughs> wherever that might be i hope someday we can be together again because it was just so amazing to spend time with you and now i just want <laughs> to meet all of my friends i want to meet all of them i want to hug everyone because this is such an incredible feeling and watching all of this back and i told sarah that i might have started crying a little bit because i was getting used to seeing her every day and now suddenly i don't anymore and that's sad <laughs> but anyway i'm just happy and grateful that we got to spend this time together of course and having a great time i sometimes still cannot believe it happened but that's normal, I think, because it's such an overwhelming thing in a very positive way, of course. And to think that it was the internet, it was booktube, it was this community that allowed me to meet her is just insane. But it is amazing. And yes, just I, I hope to one day meet everyone that I've made friends with on this community because I just want to hug you, all of you. <laughs> That's the first thing that I wanted to mention, of course, just thank Sarah again and thank Booktube, I guess, for bringing us together and for allowing this to happen. That's incredible and I'm so, so happy, so grateful and these days were just so great. We got to see so many beautiful places and it was amazing to revisit them. It is great when you have someone who doesn't know the country, doesn't know the city. I could show her all of these places that I also haven't seen in years, which is insane because it's my own city. But I guess sometimes we are the worst tourists of our own country. <laughs> like that happens a lot so i'm also thankful to sarah for allowing me to visit my country again it was amazing thank you sarah <laughs> anyway all of this to say that i loved it and i'm so grateful and i cannot wait for the next time of course so that's the first thing the second thing is maybe a little catch-up of course i will try not to spend too much time on it because the truth is i haven't uploaded basically anything ever since the beginning of august i had a lot of plans for august those videos are still coming of course but august ended up not being the month that i was hoping for of course it ended on a much happier note fortunately but overall it was a bit of a stressful month for me and it ended up really messing with my mental health and everything i was not in the right mental space to create or publish anything so i thought i would take a little break even though that wasn't exactly my intention at first but sometimes it just needs to happen and i'm not the best at taking breaks i feel like a lot of people can relate to that of course but i'm really not the best i should get better at that so that's what i tried to do in august even though i missed talking to you all so so much and i really appreciate you for being here for being patient with me thank you so much for that um now i feel like i'm ready <laughs> again to be back also because it is september and september means it is autumn at least in my world even though it is very hot in portugal still september 1st means the beginning of autumn to me and that always makes me feel more inspired i always associate september 1st as the start of a new era a beautiful era filled of magic coziness creepiness as well of course <laughs> and i absolutely love it i always say this but it is the start of my favorite time ever because we have autumn and halloween and winter and christmas and everything is so linked together and i love all of it i cannot wait for the weather to get colder so i can wear my cozy sweaters and drink lots of hot tea and hot chocolate and bake some cute things and read all the spooky books and everything i am so excited <laughs> which also makes me feel more inspired to create content, of course. I am also getting back to work because now that my vacation is officially over, I am trying to reorganize my schedule again and go back to a more 
usual routine and that transition period is not always the easiest that's also why i decided to take a little break from youtube just so i can wrap my head around everything i need to do everything that needs to be planned which i always love doing it feels like the back to school season back to organizing everything and that's also fun so <laughs> that's also what i've been doing other than that i feel okay now i feel much better i feel like during summer i always struggle despite everything else but in summer i always struggle a little bit with my mental health because it is the, my least favorite time of the year i don't like summer at all and it always makes me feel so tired and not inspired at all to do pretty much anything so now i feel like new energies are coming again fortunately and i just cannot wait to share all of that with you of course next thing i'm quickly going to talk about are the books that i finished throughout this entire period because again i started filming this vlog in the middle of august and it is now september so i did finish a few books here and there <laughs> here's the beautiful pile and there's one audiobook missing i don't think i'm forgetting anything but it's possible i'm not sure anyway <laughs> with no particular order really and i'm not going to spend too much time on these because they will almost all of them have their own live shows and if they are already available i will link them in the description the one that i finished most recently was shirley by charlotte bronte this does not only already have its own live show but i also filmed a reading vlog for it so i'm really not going to spend too much time here all i'm going to say is it was a disappointment for me i ended up giving it 2.5 stars it was a very weird reading experience for me because i can see all the themes here i can see what charlotte was trying to do i just found it very underwhelming for multiple reasons that you will be able to hear of course if you check out the live show or the reading vlog but I cannot deny that Charlotte is a great writer, I just don't seem to really get attached to her stories. I do prefer Jane Eyre over this one, but even then I'm not a big fan of Jane Eyre either, so this one just felt very flat to me unfortunately, so hence my rating. But I would still recommend it, I think. I think it's still worth reading maybe it shouldn't be as long though i feel like it dragged a lot for what it is trying to do but anyway that's shirley on the complete opposite side of the spectrum we have the fellowship of the ring by J.R. tolkien which is one of my favorite books of all time and of course i loved it i gave it five stars i would give it six and seven and ten if i could this also has a live show dedicated to it because it was our first pick for the hobbits book club so i will also link it in the description if you're curious to watch it um but this was amazing i had such a wonderful time reading this with my friends and with all of you it's a book that I'm planning to reread more times and right now I'm thinking of maybe abandoning some of my reading plans before fall really hits and maybe reread the series again. I do want to listen to The Two Towers and The Return of the King audiobooks because they are narrated by Andy Serkis and you do not want to miss those. <laughs> they are absolutely amazing. I have now listened to both The Hobbit and this one by Andy Serkis and that's the best recommendation I can give to you. <laughs> So that's the fellowship. Love it. Adore it. So, so much. One of my favorites. Absolutely. And then we get to kind of the middle of the road books. I gave both of these three stars, I think. Um, we have Book Lovers by Emily Henry and The Beautiful Ones by Silvia Moreno-Garcia. We will have a live show for this one because this is our pick for the Tea Leaves Book Club. Our live show should be coming very soon, actually. If you're watching this when the video comes out, um, it should be around the 8th or 9th of September so if it is scheduled already I will link it as well but if not just follow us on Instagram or on Discord or Twitter and we will let you know when it happens of course but I felt very similarly about both of these books except this one started out very well and I ended up being disappointed by the ending and this one was the other way around I wasn't too convinced at first but then the second half picked up for me and I ended up enjoying it more than I thought I would this was our big Patreon book club pick so I already filmed a review and it's up there if you'd like to watch it of course if you'd like to join us there I would appreciate that so much if you can of course but this was I think everyone there enjoyed this book I know it's also a favorite for so many people which is wonderful but I mentioned on that video and I guess that applies to both of these even though this is not exactly 
only in romance this does have some fantasy elements here which i wish had been more explored and more delved into that's definitely something that was missing for me with this one um but they are both kind of romance contemporary novels this is more of an historical fiction but they have a similar focus i would say when it comes to the romance and i just i, I cannot seem to find a romance contemporary book that i really enjoy there's something always missing for me with these books and i cannot exactly pinpoint what it is i think it is the type of relationship that I like reading about, um, which seems weird maybe, but I don't know, I guess my romance standards, because they are always with Pride and Prejudice or movies like Before Sunrise or Moulin Rouge, which are beautiful, I want books that give me that same feeling of just <laughs> wishing for this great romance between two people and sometimes that's not exactly what these books are trying to do they are more on the lighter side or fun side which is completely fine by the way and i also do not want to generalize of course i'm not an expert on this genre by any means so take my word with a grain of salt of course but it doesn't seem to work for me this whole genre i need something else from it i need the relationships to feel i don't know more genuine maybe because i'm never 100 percent sold on the relationships and then also these side plots usually seem more interesting to me than the romance which is not a good thing usually since these are usually very focused on the relationship so there's always something missing for me they're not bad by any means and again i give them both three stars that's a solid rating it's a good rating but they never really achieve the favorite spot or even books that I love. So I think it's hard to give me recommendations on this genre because I'm very picky. I am very picky. It's a tough one, but it's okay. They were still good. And of course, there are a lot of people who love them. So that's amazing. I had to switch my battery again. But the last book that I finished was the audiobook that I listened to, which was Finding Me by Viola Davis. I knew Viola Davis, of course, as an actress. I have seen a few TV shows and movies with her. She's absolutely incredible. And when I heard she was writing a memoir, I thought, of course, I need to read it because I love her work as an actress, but I actually know pretty much nothing about her life outside of her work. And so I decided to give it a go. And it... it it's so good and i always say this i have a hard time rating non-fiction especially memoirs and biographies because they're very personal and who am i to rate it feels like i'm rating someone's life and that always feels wrong <laughs> but because i admire her so much and i want this book to be successful and i want everyone to read it i did give it five stars because it, it's very impactful and i like her voice um, when she tells her story about herself and her family it's very genuine, it's very raw, and the way she discusses how the work slash school slash relationships environment work for people of color and in her case for black women, it, it, it's, it's a reality that you know it's there, but when you're confronted with it, it's truly shocking. And I don't know why or how this still happens nowadays. It needs to be stopped. It needs... It's, just, it's ridiculous and listening to her because she is the narrator of the audiobook which I 100% I recommend listening to her talking about these issues through her own personal experience and how she handled it how strong she was how brave she was to just go through with her dreams which was only possible because of her extremely hard work and resilience and everything it's insane it's insane how a person just because of their skin color has to work triple the amount and the fact that she's a woman as well doesn't help of course so it's insane and it's not acceptable at all and it's something that i think we all know is still there although some people like to pretend it's not but it is and it is disgusting and i'm not the one who's going to fix it unfortunately but i'm here to tell you please read this book listen to viola's story listen to all of these people's stories because sometimes we just need to look at them look at them as a way to confront ourselves and obviously i'm not the best person to comment on this experience but 
I really appreciate Viola for writing this story and publishing it and showing it to the world. It's amazing. It's just amazing. I absolutely adored it. I have even more respect for her now, not only as an actress, but as a person as well. And I was even a little ashamed for being Portuguese during the first chapters because I love my country, don't get me wrong, but we do have a very dark side of our history that we don't often acknowledge. And I'm glad she kind of touched on that as well. So that's a little hint for you, but I loved it so much. I do want to own a physical copy because I'm sure it has some pictures. Um, I think she mentions some pictures as well that obviously I wasn't able to look at, but I do want to buy it. I do want to own it and look at those pictures. It always makes me feel closer to the person whose book I'm reading, which will be such a wonderful experience as well, I'm sure. The final thing I wanted to mention, since I'm doing a big catch up with all of you, just to let you know what's been happening behind the scenes, I'm also currently working on a very cozy, relaxing readathon for my Patreons. We will be reading two books this time during the months of September and October. We chose a more cozy read and maybe a spookier read, and it will be so exciting. I will create kind of a board with different prompts for them to complete. I will try to host multiple reading sprints throughout these two months. I really hope I can do more than just one per month, which is what I usually do on Patreon. And I'm very excited because it's the first thing I'm gonna host something like this on Patreon so if you would like to join us there there's no pressure at all obviously but if you'd like to everyone on the Wanderers and Above tiers will get access to all of that and um, but you also have different options of course but this is just a complete optional thing of course I appreciate your support so so much no matter where it comes from so don't worry this is just for those who are interested and are able to of course but I thought I would mention it it just in case someone would like to take a look maybe. I think those are all the updates. So once again, I just wanted to thank you all so, so much for watching this video, for being here. Thank you to Sarah once again for these wonderful days that we spent together. And I think that's it for now. So I really hope you're all doing very well. New videos should be coming soon because everything I had planned for summer will now be moved to autumn slash winter. And I'm very, very excited about that. So as always, I'm sending you all the love, all the hugs, and I will see you again very soon on my next video. Bye everyone!